Welcome to Military News Channel. The Monday attacks, more than 500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine, on the Angles base in the Saratov region and the Dyadjalevo base in the Ryazan region were some of the most brazen inside Russia during the war. While Russia reported drone attacks on strategic sites inside its territory for a second day. Russian federal authorities did not immediately blame Ukraine for Tuesday's reported strikes but did accuse Ukrainian forces of carrying out similar attacks on two air bases deep inside Russia a day earlier. A fire broke out at an airport in Russia's southern Kursk region, which borders Ukraine, after a drone hit the facility, the region's governor said. An industrial plant 80 kilometers from the Ukrainian border also was targeted with drones that appeared to have missed a fuel depot, Russian independent media reported. In the aftermath, Russian troops launched another wave of missiles on Ukraine, killing civilians, striking homes and compounding damage to power stations and other infrastructure from earlier barrages. Approximately half of the households in the Kyiv region remained without electricity, the regional governor said on Tuesday. Authorities in the southern Odessa region, where Monday's strikes caused outages, said they had restored power to hospitals and some vital services. To mark Ukraine's Armed Forces Day, Mr. Zelensky traveled to the eastern Donetsk region on Tuesday and vowed to push Russian forces out of all of Ukraine's territory. Everyone sees your strength and your skill. I'm grateful to your parents. They raised real heroes, Mr. Zelensky said in a video address to Ukrainian forces from the city of Slovyansk, a key Ukrainian stronghold in the east. Ukrainian officials have not formally confirmed carrying out the drone attacks, instead making ambiguous statements as they have done in the past when it comes to high-profile attacks on Russian targets. But presidential advisor Mikhail Podolyak taunted Moscow in comments on Twitter. If something is launched into other countries' airspace, sooner or later unknown flying objects will return to the point of departure, Mr. Podolyak wrote. The Earth is round. Russia's defense ministry said three Russian servicemen were killed and four others wounded by debris, and that two aircraft were slightly damaged. The attacks on Russian bases were deeply embarrassing and exposed the vulnerability of some of Russia's most strategic military sites, raising questions about the effectiveness of their air defenses. They also threatened a major escalation of the nine-month war. The Angles base hosts 295 and 260 nuclear-capable strategic bombers that have been involved in strikes on Ukraine. Dyadjalevo houses tanker aircraft used for mid-air refueling. In a daily intelligence update on the war in Ukraine, Britain's defense ministry said Russia was likely to consider the base attacks as some of the most strategically significant failures of force protection since its invasion of Ukraine. It said the bombers would likely be dispersed to other airfields. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Russian authorities would take the necessary measures to enhance protection of key facilities in view of the latest Ukrainian attacks. Speaking in a conference call with reporters on Tuesday, Mr. Peskov said that the Ukrainian regime's course for continuation of such terror attacks poses a threat. Mr. Peskov reaffirmed that Russia sees no prospects for peace talks now, adding that the Russian Federation must achieve its stated goals. In Ukraine, Russia's military kept up intense attacks, shelling towns overnight near the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant that left more than 9,000 homes without running water, local Ukrainian officials said. The towns lie across the Dnipro River from the nuclear plant, which was seized by Russian forces in the early stages of the war. Russia and Ukraine have for months accused each other of shelling at and around the plant. The head of Ukraine's northern Sumy region, which borders Russia, said Moscow launched more than 80 missile and heavy artillery attacks on its territory. Governor Dmitro Shevitsky said the strikes damaged a monastery 